Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. And if you're new around here, well, hi, my name is Carla. Very nice to meet you. And um, I do sort of like lookbook videos, styling videos, a lot of travel vlogs, and little things like this haul videos, a bit about sneakers and all that. So yeah, if you're into the kind of content, then by all means, please feel free to hit the subscribe button. And I'm gonna be so happy if we do so. So yeah, that is pretty much it for my intro. And let's get back to this haul video. So I have been working out quite a lot um, recently with this whole lockdown quarantine situation. Not that I haven't been doing so uh, before all of these happen, but I just realized that um, I actually do not have a lot of workout clothes, um, active wear or sportswear, whatever you call them. I used to buy a lot of athleisure clothing, but not with the intention of actually working, using them to work out. So yeah, I just went online and got myself a couple of cute items that I would wear to work out these days even though no one would actually see me. But you know, it just helps with like boosting your motivation a little bit when you know that you have new stuff to wear. And um, I know it's such like a shallow thing, but with this whole coronavirus going on everyone's just stuck at home and i do recognize the privilege of being able to do that while others really cannot but at the same time it gets frustrating let's be honest and one of the only ways that really keeps my sanity is just to have like a morning routine and part of that routine is like working out i think it's important to be aware of what's happening around the world and be updated and all that but at the same time i think it's also important for us to take a break and stay away from all that negativity and you know just focus on our well-being by doing these little things like making youtube videos and working out having a morning routine stuff like that it does help but yeah i'm getting off topic um so let's just get on with this haul so pretty much a lot of these items that i got are from different um sites online i live in malaysia at the moment so most of them are like from the malaysia version of the websites for example nike malaysia jd malaysia zelora malaysia but most of these sites do have international versions so i'm pretty sure a lot of the items that i'm going to show you guys here actually pretty much all of them you will be able to find them in the international websites so the first item i'm going to show you is this very basic nike training bra you know funny thing is i've always wanted to buy basic nike training bras but i always thought that my body is just not worth it for these expensive workout clothes because let's be honest workout clothes are like pretty expensive right so i used to like refrain myself from buying branded workout clothes because i never thought that i deserved them but I think I have come to a point already where I'm confident enough and like I've overcome my insecurity not fully but I'm getting there um, of like my body I'm ready to like just splurge a little bit more on these workout clothes and I'm ready to show the world that's what it is so yeah one of the first things that I got is like a basic um, Nike training bra and it's this black one and um, I really like the material of it so it's just stretchy but not too stretchy where you don't feel the support and it's just really snug how it fits me so I got this in a size medium and at first it was like a bit too tight on me but I feel like these days it fits so much better I guess the workout is paying off just think of it as that and you know motivate myself a little bit more but yeah there's something really much to say about it it's just very basic but just wanted to like you know that I've always wanted like some basic Nike training bras and I finally have them so I paired them with these shorts which is also from Nike, but this is from the Nike ACG line. So this ACG line is sort of like outdoorsy kind of um, workwear, if that's what you call them. But I do like this line a lot, mostly because a lot of their pieces just screams that, hey, I'm a girl who's outdoorsy and sporty and all that, but at the same time, I also have like taste in fashion. That's what is the vibe that I'm getting from this line. And so that's why I like them so much. And because of that, I actually got a couple of items from this line in this haul, which I'm gonna show you in a bit. But yeah, that's pretty much an introduction to ACG if you're not familiar with it. So what I really like about these shorts is the sort of belt around it. It just gives you that really cool edge. I also like that these shorts are not too short for me and not too long as well. And I don't think you're supposed to wear them high-waisted, but I like wearing them high-waisted anyway. The belt kind of just like singes my waist perfectly and sort of gives that illusion that I do have a shape and that my waist is tiny even though it's not. And I do like the fit so much that I got these shorts in another color so i got them in this pattern print and color funny thing is i actually got these first 
for the green one so this was the first one that i bought i really like the fit of it which is why i decided to get another one in another color so both of these shorts i got them in size small one thing to note is that the acg line sizes actually kind of run bigger than your normal nike stuff if you're planning to get stuff from um, acg i think it's better to get a size down at least that's what i've been doing and it's the same with the menswear collection pierre does have a couple of acg pieces as well and he also usually gets them in um size smaller the best thing about these shorts is that they have pockets and the pockets are kind of like breathable because they are in this kind of like jersey fabric like that and they have holes and they're like perfect for going out on runs because you can put stuff in your pockets like your phone your house keys like a bit of cash so workout clothes with pockets are always a plus okay the next item is another basic nike training bra so it's pretty much the same as the first one i'll show you guys just in a different color so i got them in gray as well same size i got them in a size medium they're exactly the same just in a different color there's nothing much to say about it and then I got another top from ACG as well It's this muscle tee If you look at them from afar, you would think that it's just a regular muscle tee But actually it's kind of special because it's layered like that And the inside part is sort of dry fit But it's like mesh And when you wear it, it just feels really nice You still feel the support inside And I actually wore this once to work out without a training bra inside But I still felt that my chest was somehow support it because the inner layer is just really snug inside the material is just great it's made really well so it's worth the money but all these acg pieces are a bit more expensive than your regular nike pricing but i think the material and the quality is just worth it and then another item from acg this is not necessarily like a workout clothing but i think you can wear them if you want to go hiking or like really be outdoorsy this is something that i purchased because i want to wear it outside but anyway, i'm just going to show it to you guys as well so it's this um trousers from acg as well it's the same style as the shorts that i have with the whole belt situation but the fabric is really different it, this is more of like cargo pants if you will and this room shade and i actually got this from the women's wear section so i believe this is unisex they do have this in the female section as well but I think the sizes run differently and I kind of like the sizing in the menswear section better because especially these kinds of trousers, I like them a bit more baggy than usual and I'm assuming that if I got these in the women's wear sizing, they'll be a bit tighter on me I think I could have sized down a bit more like I got this in an S I could have gotten an XS but I was being safe and like I thought I wouldn't fit in an XS even in menswear sizing so it's okay, I, I don't really regret the purchase. It still, it still fits nicely. Um, it would be nice to go with a crop top, even like a training bra. One thing that I don't like about unisex clothing is that some brands market it as unisex, but the sizing is not necessarily unisex. Or if not the sizing, it's the cut of it. Like these pants, for example. Anyway, moving on to the next one. Oh, this is special. I didn't actually get this for myself. Pierre got this for me, but... Oh, Pierre is my fiance, by the way, if you guys don't know. So he got this for me. But I picked it and it's this really cute, well, cute is not the right word. It's cool, this cool workout training bra. And this is like a collaboration piece between Nike and Matthew Williams. Um, Matthew Williams is actually the designer behind Alex, the brand. And he kind of like incorporated his signature, is that what you call it? Or like his aesthetic into the pieces that he designed for Nike. And this is what's really special about it, this sort of like, oh, right here. So it's super cool, the material fabric is just not the usual material you would see in a workout bra so it's like a little bit of like leather here but I don't think it's leather it just feels like leather and the hook is actually not plastic it's some sort of metal but it's not the heavy kind of metal it just the material just feels really expensive and nice and <laughs> well the piece is expensive but it's not every day that I buy all these expensive unique workout pieces so why not once in a while I splurge who does it so I originally wanted to get this because I wanted to wear it out not necessarily for workout as well but you know I still can the only thing I don't like about this is that it's not padded so if I'm actually gonna work out with this piece I need to put a pad underneath it or I won't be doing any sort of heavy activity like running or like high intensity interval training maybe heavy lifting but yeah it's so cool it looks so cool I like this piece so much and then another thing that I got which is like multi-purpose like I do plan to wear this working out but I also plan to wear it for going out is this jacket from Nike as well but this is like I think it's a collection specifically made for JD Sports. So I got this from JD Sports obviously and you can only find it in JD Sports outlets, not outlets, JD Sports retail stores. 
That's the right word. What I like about this is that it's like cropped and it's not cropped in the way that it's just cropped. It has this elastic band underneath and you can like pull it tight so that it fits you tight and it's just, it just fits really nicely. I think it's cool. You can wear it with like a crop top and then just cover up with this jacket and like wear high-waisted trousers and it looks so cool. This outfit I'm wearing right now, I'm showing you guys, I think this is like a perfect outfit. I can wear this to work out, go for a run. And I can also wear it out to go out with friends. Just put on a nice pair of sneakers and voila, I think it's good to go. So the sleeves also has that like elastic band going on and then you can pull it up so that the sleeves become shorter or you can pull it down if you want to wear it full sleeve. It has that big ass Nike swoosh logo at the back which I know is kind of like out there, it screams in your face but I like it. And then the next item I got is from Nike again, this pair of bicycle shorts. So this is really snug. I like that it has this big elastic panel right here that cinches up your waist and makes sure like all that excess layers of fat is just sucked in. This is also the kind of shorts that I would be able to wear if I plan to like work out and then eat after because all the bulges is just gonna show like which is, I think, could be good because then whenever I'm wearing this to work out, it would just remind me not to eat a lot after I worked out. So it could be good. And like the Nike Air sort of like detailing on the side. Okay, finally moving on to other brands. I have this pair of Under Armour training leggings. Pretty straightforward, it's basic. I like the wide waistband again. It has this adjustment lace on the waist, but I actually do not really need to adjust it because the panel itself is already snug enough for my waist. So I just leave it as it is. But the best part about this leggings is the pocket. So it has like a zipped pocket on the side and it's like I mentioned, any workout clothes has pockets is like a plus because you can wear them to work out outside and you can put stuff in the pockets. I also like the pop of color of green here. It's basic but not too basic because you have that really popping color going on at the back. And then another pair of leggings from Under Armour. So what I like about this piece is the pattern going on. It's like marbly but not really. And I like the mesh detail on the side at the bottom of the leggings. The material is sort of for swimming. It's, it's nice. nice. It's like soft and silky. It's a bit different from the other one. And yeah, I just really like how it feels on the skin. And the next item is this top that I'm wearing. This is from Reebok. So I originally wanted to get these and wear it to work out, but I realized that when I got them, they're actually not padded. So I still have to wear a training bra underneath before I could wear these to work out. But I can also wear them out to go out, pair it with like high waist and jeans or like shorts and stuff like that. So I don't regret the purchase. So it's like a razor back and then like the whole print going on, like it looks like a graphic sort of top. Okay, last but not the least, I got these lounge joggers, which is super comfortable. I think these are sort of like trending right now. The whole 90s sort of hip hop look is coming back and these style of joggers are like all over the internet at the moment. I don't know if it's just me, but I've been seeing them around. So I wanted to get one and I actually wanted to get the um, Stussy times Nike collection, but you know how hard it is to acquire those limited edition sort of collaboration pieces. I tried and I failed. And so I settled for something a little less known. This is from a brand called Factory. And I bought this from Zalora Malaysia. So with these joggers, these are supposed to be a straight cut fit. So my normal size would be an S, but because I wanted them comfy and baggy and all that, so I got them in large. The first of the items, I actually got them in size small. So for example, the leggings is in a size small. The jacket is in a size small as well. The bras, I got them in a size medium. So that is it for today's haul, you guys. I hope you like this video. I hope it gives you some sort of entertainment or lighten your mood in any way that it can. And um, if you have any comments about the items that I showed you guys today, um, let me know in the comment section down below. I'm gonna try to answer as much as I can. I'm also gonna link all of them down in the description box where I got them from. So you can just check it out right there if you do wanna purchase some of these items that I got as well. Um, and yeah, that is it. So stay safe, you guys. Stay home. I'll see you in the next one.